Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the latest from REM F4i. It's the Executioner Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. This is build number two. Now, this just comes a couple days after we put out build number one, based off the official over-the-air update from Verizon, since that finally came out. Uh, a lot of fun things in here already. Your 4.2 applications are here. Your keyboard, your Gmail, your market, your 4.2 Google, Google search, uh, HTC One X SMS bubble are in here. He did a bunch of speed tweaks, uh, build prop tweaks. The RAM's been fully optimized, memory fully optimized, uh, battery lasts quite a long time. I noticed that it does last longer with the lean kernel, which we'll talk about in just a second, than it does with the stock one. Um, he also V6 supercharged it right out of the box. So instead of going to terminal emulator and typing in anything and trying to set up the V6 supercharger, he's already done that for you. So it's already super fast right out of the box. All right. He, acid, uh, he added Acid Audio, Beats Audio, the Sony Bravia engine, Wi-Fi tethers there, long press volume skip track is there, and much more. Now with the uh, build number two, he did add uh, iMozion's kernel, lean kernel 1.2.1. Uh, this does give you the option to overclock and play with your voltages as well. And like I said, I noticed that my battery life was much, much better on lean kernel than it was on the stock kernel. But I did see on the threads that uh, people are having a problem with their SD card and their uh, 64 gigabyte SD card, so uh, REM might move it back to the stock kernel, and then you can flash the lean kernel if you want to. But as of build number two, uh, lean kernel 1.2.1 does come stock on um, the executioner. And let's go to system tuner real quick, and we'll look and see. Uh, you can overclock up to 1.9 gigahertz. You can play with the voltages as well. Uh, if you are stuck at 1150, like you see right here, your voltages are at 1150 and they won't stick, this is what you need to do. You need to go into terminal emulator, type SU, enter, to get super user access. Then you need to type in LK config. Hit enter. Okay, and you're going to have some options here. Uh, stock behavior of keeping voltage minimum at 1150. Number two is remove the above uh, override. And number three, revert system uh, to stock. So I'm going to go with number two here. I want to get rid of the override. Hit enter, and you're done. Okay, then you're going to X out of terminal emulator. And when you go back into System Tuner, I do have a profile saved already of stock settings. Click My Settings, and bam, there you go. Everything is changed over. So, once again, if you do have your uh, your kernel is stuck at 1150 for your voltages, just go to type go to Terminal Emulator, type in SU, hit Enter, then LK Config, and hit Enter, and choose option number two, okay? Let's go into the Settings menu in About Phone and see what we're working with here. Android 4.1.1, the VRBL K3 baseband. Now, if yours does not say K3, it's not the ROM's fault. You have to flash the RPM and the radio separately. Uh, we do have the Lean Kernel 1.2.1 from iMozion, and this is stock with build number 2, and we're on the Executioner 2.0, okay? Well, let's check out some of the uh, different things. He did add some theming with this one. He did gray out the uh, battery, the Wi-Fi, the time, and everything, um, so that's a little bit different. If we pull down the notification, you can see that there's two different colors here. If you look closely, you have gray and you have like a bluish gray. Bluetooth is a bluish gray, flashlight a bluish gray, but the others are just a regular gray. It kind of looks white here on the screen. So he did do a little bit of theming with this build. Checking Google Now here. Everything's working on Google now. It's got me uh, my traffic, my temperature. I am in Harrisonburg, Virginia. For any of you who are in Virginia, what's up? Uh, it is 55 today. It is not like winter, but as you can see, we're getting cold here in the next few days. Uh, let's go to GPS here and check and see how that's looking. Again, I'm inside, so it's not going to be as, uh, as much as if I was outside. I did get a lock of 20 out of 21 earlier, but as you can see, I did lock on here inside 10 out of 16, so that's working great. And I always like to go over to Google Maps just to make sure it's got me in the right location. Sometimes uh, you get Google Maps and it will show you like five miles away from where you actually are. So that's showing me in the right place, so no problem with uh, with GPS so everything's looking good on the build uh, you do have the Samsung Galaxy s3 camera and gallery I did flash the flashable zip to get the 4.2 camera and gallery, and you do uh, get the 4x4 stock launcher. It does have scrolling wallpaper, which I found does give my phone a little lag, so I flashed the 4x5 
uh, a launcher that you can get on the front page of the OP on XDA, along with a bunch of other things, including uh, the Galaxy Note 2 camera and gallery and the white lightning theme. Now, speaking of themes, he also gives credit to Wasabi in his OP, uh, and Wasabi are the themes that I've been using. Uh, he's got like 22 different themes. I've been rocking the orange theme, but I did switch it back to the uh, stock theme uh, just so that you can see what it looks like for the video purposes, but I think I'm going back to orange when I get done with the video, all right? Going into your app drawer, you can see it's super, super fast. It's pretty much instant. Scrolling through your app drawer, instant. I mean, if it blurs the screen, it's got to be good. Going through your home screens, no lag whatsoever. So that's what I mean when I'm saying super fast. It's already V6 supercharged. He's tweaked it out the ass and made it absolutely awesome. So great job by Ram. F4i on build number two. It's the executioner for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3, and that's pretty much it. You do get all your Samsung applications. You do get your Google applications. If you want to keep them, you can. If not, you can uninstall them. I do have my NORAD Santa tracker because I'm ready to track Santa here very soon in the next few days, and uh, everything else pretty much set up here. So uh, the kernel does uh, come with lean kernel this time. You can't overclock it. you got to go into terminal emulator and type in S-U-L-K config in order to uh, change your voltages. Don't forget to unlock your bootloader with version 1.2 of the Easy Unlock application. Not from the Play Store. Uh, you're going to have to get it from XDA or something, all right? Well, hey, thanks for joining me today. This is build number two, uh, The Executioner by Rem F4i for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos over at YouTube.com. Just type in Android University. I stay up to date with the latest and greatest for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Hobart. Have a great day.